Morning, I'm Alex Butz. I'm an agricultural machinery mechatronics engineer, and I run a farm together with my family. We do bull fattening and dairy farming, and we grow approximately 10 hectares of maize. And this year, I want to try out a new method of placing maize seed. We're here on an area of around 5 hectares in size. It's quite a sandy field, so rather dry conditions. And especially as we move towards summer, the land gets a lot drier. And that's why we wanted to try out this new delta row process. Okay, and how did you cultivate the soil before? The field was plowed, then cultivated twice with the seedbed combination. So I think it's level, the topsoil's nice and loose, and there's also some residual moisture in the soil. I, I think the conditions couldn't be better. Yes, sounds perfect. And I saw that maize seed has also been planted down there. Is that yours in the adjoining field as well? You've got a good eye. That's right. The field goes a bit further. We cultivated it a bit down there. We seeded it last week using a conventional process. And I think that if we sow here using the delta row process, we'll be able to see the best trials and test results when they start to grow next to each other. Yeah, so I see Johannes is on his way. Shall we go over there? The right tractor is already hooked up in front. Hey, you two. Hi, Johannes, Karina. I'm Alex. So it looks like you've prepared a good seed bed here. <laughs> well, we did our best. I think conditions could be worse. <laughs> We've definitely seen worse, but that's not a problem for us. <laughs> so let's start here at the front. This is our front tank, Solitaire 23. This is where the fertilizer is stored that we need later for the precision seeding. The whole thing is metered down here via four metering devices and transported to the machine at the back via four hoses, in this case under the tractor. So let's go to the back. Does that have an advantage? There are also hoses on the side. Well, it depends a bit on how you like it. If they're firmly connected to the machine, then it's better if they go under the tractor because then there's less drop height from the fertilizer. That way it just flows through on a level, as it were, and it's then transported here via the distributors into the fertilizer coulters. And the all-round visibility is much better. That's what I thought the moment I saw you coming. There's normally a big hose on the right-hand side, but you've got a clear view here. Oh yes, definitely. And let me take off this transport protection. So now you can see the machine from the side, folded in, with the central seed hopper, with a tank volume of 600 liters as a special feature of the Azuret. That means the seed is actually just filled in one single place. It saves long setup times. You can even fill maize seed with a little big bag, and then the individual hoses transport it to the respective sewing units. In this case, with the eight-row machine, we also have eight metering devices in the hopper, each of which pre-meters the seed. After the pure pre-compaction, the seed is then placed here on the seeding coulters in two partial rows. That's the delta row process. I can best explain it to you when we see it in action in the field. The seeds are caught here with the catching roller, and then afterwards, finally, and that's a very important step, of course, there's the covering of the seed and also reconsolidation, making sure that the seeds are really placed in the moist, reconsolidated soil. So let's go and look at the rest of it in the field, shall we? Sure, let's go. So, Johanna, so please explain to Alex and me what's so special about this machine. Yeah, well, we've sown a few hectares now, and it's the delta row that's special. Let's expose it and see what the triangular block arrangement looks like when it's placed on the field.
But Johannes, we already have some wide spacing here, don't we? Quite right, and that's what's so special about our delta row, Alex, the fact that we practically have double the grain spacing within a partial row of the delta row. That means when you look at the triangular block arrangement here, if we were to sow an individual row now, we'd place the seed in between, as it were, and if you were to draw circles around it, the space for every plant would be smaller than when you move the plant over here. So that gives you up to 70% more space per plant. And so the plant can absorb more water, more nutrients, and also light. And this is reflected in somewhat stronger root growth. And our results also show that the energy stored in the cob is also much higher. So, this triangular block arrangement is created by the metering system with a drum where the holes the seeds are pressed against are offset, with the result that a seed is placed alternately on the left and the right. And that is what's so special about our Delta Grove. So I say, why not try it for yourself? Yeah, it looks good now, but I want to try it out for myself too. What do you think, Alex? Well, the embedding looks good, the seed placement works well, the operation is great, I'm very happy. That's good to hear, Alex. And as a little thank you for having us here, I've brought you a Delta Row sign. You can put it up in your field so that you and everyone else knows that we sowed Delta Row maize with the Azeret. Sure, I'll put it up right down there next to the field with the conventional seed drilling. That way you'll really see the difference over the course of the year. And so you're part of the L team, we've got the right outfit to go with it for you too. And I'll say we'll see each other again when the maze has emerged and you can see the difference. Yeah, let's do that, great. I'd like to thank you for coming and you did great work, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see how the result changes over the course of the year. So thank you, thank you.